Summer is here, and that means a lot of kids are getting ready to go to college for the first time in their lives. That also means that we've got yet another version of NCAA football coming your way, and we're going to take a look at it and let you know whether or not it's worth buying. When you first step on the field in NCAA 10, you're really not going to see a lot that's going to make you think, wow, this is so different from last year. Sure, there might be a few new animations in there, the tackling looks a little bit better, they got cool new mascot dances or whatnot, the crowd still looks like crap for the most part, especially up close, but there's not a whole lot on the field that's going to make you think, wow, this is so different from NCAA 09. Clearly, the bulk of time that EA spent this year on NCAA football was in its feature set. And there are a bunch of new features. Now some of these might fool you in thinking they're really brand new, and others are truly genuinely new and very cool. Now the first one up is Road to Glory, and this was announced as being a big deal because it's hosted by Aaron Andrews. And really, the lovely Aaron Andrews is just about the only thing you get that's new in Road to Glory. This is actually just Campus Legend mode that's been in the game before, so it's not actually a very new experience, but did I mention it has Aaron Andrews? So, that's cool. So what do you say? Would you like to put your career on display? There are two very, very cool features that have been added this year that actually are a real step forward and honestly are things that I would hope that would be put in other EA sports games because they're just that good. The first one is Season Showdown. And we're really not going to know how good Season Showdown is until the game is actually released to the public, but the idea itself sounds great. Here's the thing about college football, right? You love the college you went to, you follow them religiously, you watch all their games, you have the shirt, you have the pom-poms, whatever it is, you're rah-rah about it. And now you can really experience that with NCAA football season showdown. You select one team, and that is your team for life in NCAA football 10 for season showdown at least. And anytime you play as that team, you're going to be earning points into the season showdown. This is a year-long competition of people basically picking one team and helping earn points to see which team will reign supreme among all the teams played in NCAA Football 2010. The other really cool thing is actually something you're going to need a PC for. PC? NCAA game? Who knew? But yes, you will need a PC to go to play Team Builder. Team Builder allows you, through your PC, to create any team you want, customize your stadium, fully customize your uniforms, and even upload specific logos that you've made. That means that if you want to play as Southwestern Community College, you can make that happen. And the cool thing is, you can go ahead and search and find any school anybody has made, and you can download it. You can easily name players, create their stats, you know, create your custom uniforms very, very quickly with the system, and then easily import it. Now all this leads to one bad feature that has been added to NCAA Football 10, and that is the fact that you get upselled constantly to buy a bunch of microtransactions. And that comes in with Team Builder 2. When you buy the game, you get a code. You can create 12 teams, but beyond that, you actually have to pay for it, which is dumb. Well done, EA. Well done. When it comes to gameplay, honestly, NCAA Football 10 is really just more of the same that we've seen before. It doesn't have a lot of new additions or new kinks. EA Slant seems to be to try to make the game a little bit more friendly to people who don't necessarily always play a football game or just have never been very good at it. Uh, there's a family play style that actually simplifies the game if you needed that. But there's also a defensive assist that anybody can use that will reposition your defensive player to where they're supposed to be. So if you're actually so terrible that you can't play the game properly, you just hit A button and win. So basically this is NCAA football for dummies. Which I guess is fine because there are probably a lot of dummies out there. One other nice thing that they did add is the setup play. Now this has always been in football games that if you run the ball a lot and then call play action, you're more likely to get the defense to bite on it. But now there are actually percentages associated with this and specific plays are linked. So if you do a play action play that looks exactly like a specific running play and you've been doing that running play several times successfully, it's more likely the defense is going to bite on that. Gameplay in NCAA Football 10 just really hasn't changed much. It hasn't gone to that next level that we've been waiting for EA to take this franchise to. So, you know, if you liked the gameplay from last year, well, you're going to like it again. And if you didn't like it, well, you're SOL.
In the end, NCAA Football 10 is really just more of the same that we've seen before, except it's got two really cool features added to it. Team Builder and Season Showdown are two things that every EA game should have in some way. So while it's not much of a change, it's a little bit of a change, and that might be enough to inspire you to buy NCAA Football 10.